Trick lines are sketchy. Ratchets, if something breaks on this side, go flying and can kill you. So you're supposed to back them up. And people are always debating whether or not their backups are super good enough. So uh, we have a dynamometer, some stoked people here, and a knife. Check it out on this episode of How Not to Trick Line. Hurts. No way! I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to the park where trick liners roam free. We have Dylan, like the dynamometer, uh, Looseberg, which is funny because he loves tight lines, and 9.2 kilonewtons is not tight enough for him. And here we have Olga Henry, who's been working hard on Trick Lining 101, a course that's going to be on slackline.com, also for free, so you can learn A to Z on how to rig trick lines without dying. And today we are going to test whether or not a backup when you run a rope through your ratchet in case something fails works because there are debates on whether or not a loose one which would have momentum with the ratchet boom or tight ones that are just always holding it close and whatever we're just going to take a knife and we're just going to cut this how long is this let's break some stuff like 90 feet so what we have here is a line scale 2 from linegrip.com they're awesome the 30 kilonewtons and super strong enough this thing broke in our tests 110 kilonewtons rated for 80. uh we did span set ebgb knot to extending it because our slack line is kind of too short this thing is about 90 feet long we have a nine kilonewtons on it we had 10 and a half earlier and it settled god damn it I what, killing whatever it's between nine and ten when we do all of our tests because it's a lot of work to pull i mean it's a lot of work to watch dylan pull <laughs> this tight <laughs> so we're wrapping this because this ratchet is going to fly towards this tree here and i'm gonna protect this as well and we're gonna cut that over there let me show you how so we have this ratchet i'm afraid to touch that is going to go flying we uh have it extended because it's kind of hard to attach it to this kind of a setup. This is going to get cut and we're going to cut this over and over. I have several pieces of it and dang, that is, that is crazy. This thing is tight. In our other trick line videos, you can see that we pay, basically make it about 10 before somebody's on it and it peaks around 15. So you're dealing with some pretty high forces. And if something were to fail behind the ratchet, the ratchet goes flying and could hit the trick liner. So that's what we're gonna simulate. I tried to put some tree pro back here so I would have some space to cut in between that butt crack right there. But I actually don't think that's gonna happen. I might have to cut it just right here. And then the webbing is gonna go flying around the tree, hopefully not damaging the sewing loop too much. And that ratchet will go flying. On our first test we're gonna do, we're gonna have zero backup to show what happens if uh, you don't have anything on there to just to show how dangerous it is. This is a shit knife for this. Oh my God. Don't scream, Olga. Hey, was it as good for you as it was for me? It was a little bit not as good because I've done it before. It's your first time, but that's okay. It was still really good. It is my first time. It's always more fun on your first time. Oh, I'm glad I moved this because this went with it. So it didn't quite make it all the way. Oh, wow. It didn't, it stayed with it the whole time. Uh, the ratchet did not make it the whole way. It's dirty as, you know, I, this would hurt. I don't even know if this would hurt. This would just kill you if it hit you right. That's insane. That's insane. But it did not hit the tree, which was cool. It, um, I assume the dynamometer still works. It's padded pretty good. Okay. What did you guys think? Just as a uh, trick liners. Uh, I liked it. Let's do it like six more times. <laughs> I don't want to trick line ever again. Uh, that's good conclusions. So what we have here is a little tiny piece of paracord very unlikely to do any good and we did a european death knot just your basic ass overhand here and it's you know it's not loose but it's loose but it's whatever just to keep it from flying and hitting you some people use the skinniest things in order to back their stuff up so let's find out if it does any good we really hope it breaks to be honest so 
be sure to back up the bolt and not these plastic handles or thin um, thin metal bars and sharp edges. It, it is important to back up the bolt. The bolt's like the strongest component out of all this and will always catch as long as your rope's big enough. So um, just a pointer on how to back up your stuff. Holy crap, holy crap! One more time! Ah! What? Oh! What happened? It slapped me so hard! Where? Right, Brian, are you okay though? I am, okay. but it, it, oh! Science hurts! Crap! One more time! So the paracord didn't do almost anything for this. And what happened is the paracord broke on the, the ratchet side and came back around to leave the tree. And that paracord is what um, cut diagonally across my arm. So look how far it went. Isn't that crazy? It went just as far as the last one. That is so much force. I mean, it doesn't take that much to break this, but wrapped around like it was, it was like a thousand pounds minus not lost. So like 500 pounds to a thousand pounds of force that should hold. It didn't even slow it down. Wow, the paracord having moved so quickly under this tension is broke this. So it did more damage than it did. It did more damage, yeah. So not only would you have died, your gear would have had to been retired. That's how trick lining is. That's what we were talking about, about the, the lines. When we were brake testing them, it's like, they're fine, fine, until the moment they're not. Like, until they're not. Yeah. We break shit and do human testing. Let's do it again. Okay, so we have an official backup from Slackline Industries where it involves a chintzy little clip, supposedly slows it down, to some chintzy little D-rings that I put in overhand to just have a stopper not there so it doesn't slip. Um, and this is just to tie off all this extra tail. So this is medium, it's not tied, it's not loose. And we're gonna find out if that's gonna hold because it's around the same bolt. And right here, because it does, we don't have enough to go around the tree, we just use this span set, it's aluminum carabiner. It's important to never use aluminum carabiners in your trick lines because the cyclic loading, the bam, 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 it will break the aluminum. It doesn't like to be stretched out too much. This is how I'm gonna be safe. So. This, this should go well, right? Come on, oh my god, it's very, it's like hitting my thread! Oh my god! Holy shit! Yes! Really? Slackline Industries is full of shit! And the ratchet still made it about halfway. Right? Halfway Almost over here. Halfway, yeah. It, it slowed, slowed it down, down the ratchet, but that that's, that webbing is way too chintzy. Yeah. And it broke the webbing, not the D-ring, I believe. And I think it broke by the knot. Okay, so the D-rings were fine. This did absolutely nothing. Yeah, but I think- Because you can take this, take this, and just like 20 pounds of force just opens this up. I think the knot killed the- but it's the webbing's not strong enough. Like yeah. not, not, no, not. Yeah, yeah, webbing's, webbing's not strong enough. Webbing's not strong enough. So, <laughs> sorry, Olga, we just broke your back. Well, we did you a favor because this is a shitty. <laughs> so they did that in the instructions. You got the whole typical buckle stuff going on. And I thought maybe the long tail could allow it to slip and slow it down, but they recommended your say, curidad las back up. So <laughs> it's important to follow instructions so you can break your Slackline Industries backup. So is this what the backup you use? Yeah. What is this? It's a Gibbon, uh, Gibbon backup. That so I it's sold use. specifically for- For a backup. By yeah. Gibbon. Let's see if Gibbons get any better. Can we use it? Yes! If it breaks- I actually wanna know if it works. If it breaks, yeah. you're gonna be sad we broke your backup or relieved? Both, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, this is, looks like seven mil cordelet, basically. We'll find out. Now for Olga's backup, the way she does hers, and we did exactly the way she does it because she wants to see if what she's been doing works. Club hitch, which is that there, and then attached to this. The reason we didn't go around the tree or even this is this is not actually almost long enough to do a loop. 
And so, um, I don't know what this this. If you don't know knots, tie lots. This is. <laughs> Um, it's a clove hitch. No, it's a mess. And whatever, it's what she uses. That's what other people probably use. And so we're going to just test to see if this thing holds. If the knot comes undone, we know it's the knot and the rope would technically be fine. We'd set it up again because Dylan's the one tensioning all this anyways. So he looks pretty sweaty. I thought I was here for backflips. I'm actually here because I've done thousands of ratchets. <laughs> okay, guys, let's test this back up. Three, two, one, zero, negative one. Oh God, there's nothing holding this. <laughs> it did it, dude. Whoa! Whoa! That was violent. Wow, look at all this knot. <laughs> it survived. Holy shit, what is this? Also, why did the ratchet open? The ratchet somehow opened in the middle of this nonsense. This is somewhat okay still. I mean, it's getting damaged, but yeah. wow. And it's twisted now because the rope has twists in it, obviously. Nothing obviously wrong with this fan set, and then the carabiner can handle one load like that easily. What's going on? This rope oh now stands by itself. <laughs> it is so stiff. You I saw that kink just happen? It's like a tape measure now. <laughs> it's like a tape, yeah, that's a great yeah, it's example. It's broken on the inside. There's like something broken on the inside at certain <laughs> points. Oh, wait, get, wow. That's what I'm saying. I don't it's think so I can use this anymore, <laughs> Gibbon. Can you send me more of those backups, <laughs> please? Something happened. Look at this kink that, like, but it works. See it? <laughs> it's like That's clay incredible. now. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna Ready? break for a pause when we're just playing with this like clay. Do you like kinky backups? Very kinky backups. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna find out a really interesting number. We have a denimometer on this end now, and connected to a um, two-inch trick line that I folded with just a water knot, and it's on the same bolt as before. Everything's the same, except um, we're gonna find out how much force it actually generates. This is neither tight nor loose. This is just, this is. Um, some people think that loose kind of like catches it after it lost its momentum. And some people think tight just keeps it from getting momentum. So this is kind of in between and we'll just see what happens. Want to see some science? Ooh, hoo -hoo, science. Want to see some science? <laughs> Want to see some science? Whoa! 10.7! What? How? 10.7. And then we'll turn max off. And right now there's 5.2 still on here. That is more than a thousand pounds of force still on this line. And it's all on, on this guy. Dude, 10? That's more than we had on the... It was resting at 9.3. 9.3 and then it shocked it at 10. This is really fun. <laughs> I am gonna cover this. Um, this is at 9.8 and with peak on, we're gonna see how much this dyno is going to read uh, because that side is gonna probably see some force. So she's covering the ratchet. I'm about to cover this and then I'll show you what we got going over there. Okay, so we're gonna do one more test because Olga really wants to see what a loose backup does to see if that extra foot or two helps absorb the line. But anyways, same thing as before, same water knot as before, and we have fast peak on this dynamometer and that one that we just showed you. We're gonna do one more tripod knife. Boom, man! Whoa, almost nine. 8.9, let's go see what the other one said. Hold on, how's this look? Um, this got all whack a mold Wow, this just got all tangled up in it. I don't like yeah, that about yeah. the loose backup. Yeah. This is way less clean, but obviously this held, this is bomber, bolt bomber. Make sure you don't put your backup inside the sharp stuff or on this chintzy stuff. 
Um, it's important to be through the bolt. So let's let's go see what this was. Waiting for the grand opening. This is actually what we want right here. It didn't change. No, nope. this did not see a higher force, but that also did not see higher than nine. So technically we would have to redo this to get a 10 on there to see if you got a 10 on here. And we're way too tired for that. Make sure you back up your stuff with big enough stuff. Got it? 